Varroa mites are devastating parasites of honeybees, feeding on both adult and developing bees and transmitting harmful viruses between them. Since no products decisively reduce viral loads in the colony, continuous control of Varroa mites is essential for colony survival. In the past, miticides have been highly effective for a while, but their effectiveness decreases after a few years. In many cases, the accumulation of small amounts of residual miticide in hive products, such as beeswax, led to continuous exposure of mites to low levels of the active compound of the Varroa treatment. Apivar, approved in the US in 2013, uses a compound called Amitraz to target mites. Amitraz blocks a receptor in the mite's central nervous system, causing complete paralysis and eventual death. Amitraz functions through contact. Bees pick up Amitraz molecules from Apivar strips and distribute them along the Varroa mite population in the colony. Apivar is designed for continuous release of Amitraz throughout the entire treatment period. But just like past miticides, there have been rumours that Amitraz may no longer be as effective at killing mites as it used to be. Will Amitraz be the next miticide to become useless to beekeepers? Compared to other miticides, Amitraz molecules degrade more quickly inside the hive, meaning few Amitraz molecules are available to build up in the wax, preventing the constant exposure to the miticide that leads to mite resistance with other treatments. Apivar's sustained efficacy in countries where it has been used for many years, along with preliminary findings from Amitraz resistance research, suggests that resistance to this molecule may be more complex and difficult to develop in Varroa mites compared to resistance against other compounds like pyrethroids. But if Amitraz resistance does occur, it is usually highly variable between hives with many hives in the same apiary being effectively treated with apivar even when one of their neighbours is full of resistant mites. Resistance tends to show up repeatedly in beekeeping operations that use amitraz incorrectly and excessively. Beekeepers who follow the instructions for apivar usage, dosage and treatment duration are not the primary contributors to amitraz resistance development in varroa mites. The use of illegal Varroa treatments based on Amitraz products intended for cattle or other species may increase the risk of accelerated resistance development in Varroa mites. These illegal treatments are often applied in uncontrolled or excessive doses, making them more toxic to honeybees compared to authorized and appropriately dosed Amitraz treatments. Illegal Amitraz should never be used under any circumstances because the risks associated with overdosing or underdosing are simply too big. Even when using legal Apivar strips, never leave them in hives longer than the treatment duration printed on the label and definitely not throughout the entire winter. Leaving the strips in too long continually exposes surviving mites to small doses of Amitraz for several months instead of the recommended six to eight weeks in the USA and Canada. Fortunately, evidence suggests that Amitraz-resistant mites differ from other miticide-resistant mites. Ongoing research in North America and France suggests that pausing the application of Amitraz-based treatments for just one year and using other miticidal compounds during the pause may be sufficient to purge hives of widespread Amitraz-resistant mites. Vetopharma, the manufacturer of Apivar and now Amiflex, encourages all beekeepers to adopt integrated pest management practices. This means utilizing a wide variety of preventive and treatment actions against varroa mites throughout the beekeeping season. These practices include cycling old combs out of hives and implementing physical hive management actions, such as removing drone brood or creating splits. Rotating between apivar treatments and miticides with other active compounds throughout the year or between years can provide excellent varroa mite control without facilitating amitraz resistance. Veto Pharma, in partnership with Better Bee.